Hello, this is Vance, and this is Thursday, January the 11th, 2018. And this is early morning well demonstration trade. Got this trade on here, entered at uh, 63.85. It's just below $64. In the overnight, we had this big, fairly, fairly large run, not a large run up, I suppose, but. Uh, uh, we had this uh, overnight sessions when uh, uh, overnight when Europe opened, Asia prices uh, ran up, and uh, just carried on from when we had uh, the uh, a somewhat from a position where we had a few uh, yesterday. When the announcement was made and uh, prices ran up in the yesterday afternoon to where the previous high was of the day. And then in the overnight, prices moved up further and over $64 uh, uh, a barrel. So the reason I got it on this trade is that it's a second entry long. You know, first pulls back here, second pullback. Now, this is a kind of a little bit of a doji, but you see where my, my stop is below here. Let me just make this a little bigger. My stop is down here. Um, if it gets back to where the overnight highs were, I'll get my first contract off. And as I said, it's just a few minutes before 9 o'clock. So I'm looking for uh, just a bump up to uh, at least this area right here, this area of a previous high. Uh, if it gets up to 10 ticks ahead, I'll probably kind of break, move it to break even. I mean, I can't even move it up now. I can move it up to here. Uh, I think there's enough. If price comes back down to this area to 75, it's a, it's a failed trade in my, my uh for my way of thinking. And uh, so I think that's where the support is. And we've had the support. We haven't had prices really break uh, 63, well, at the EMA here, 63.90. But we haven't had prices stay down that for any extended period of time. This was 8 o'clock where this, we had this, uh, you know, like less than an hour ago. This is mostly the overnight here. So, um, and just because we're, we're just before the open. We've got five minutes, roughly, to the open. And uh, we'll wait and see how, how it goes. But that's what my expectation is for uh, for this morning. So that's why I've got this on. Again, this is a second entry long. Um, off the bottom, off of the support. Price has to get to $64 to get my first contract off. And I'm sitting with this until uh, the open. And uh, I'll let this run. Okay, it's off the pins now. It's been like uh, 35 minutes, roughly. So it's gotten, it hasn't really got to, uh, got to 10 ticks. I can move this up a little bit more right to here. So it's got the 10 ticks right here. It's taking some time to bust through. I mean, you know, you could leave it down here if you, you know, if you think it's going to kind of, wind down here but you know you're seeing some hesitation and uh, the market the uh, es is open at 9 30. that usually is either good for a bounce or it's going to kind of cut down the other direction they kind of work the es uh, the s p and the uh, oil markets kind of work in concert together they correlate to some degree more so than other pairs of markets uh, but uh, anyways wait and see leave it go so just a note, hesitation for a couple of reasons here. Uh, number one, uh, we have, uh, this is a previous high right here, so it's hesitation there. And the fact is that uh, we're getting close to $64. And you've heard me say this a hundred times before, that uh, usually at the century numbers, there's going to be some hesitation. Uh, you know, like that's kind of the idea uh, from because of, uh, oops, because of the fact that, uh, you know, it's just one of those, it's just a line in the sand. It's just one of the, um, you know, the century numbers are usually going to be an area of hesitation. You know, buyers or even sellers are going to maybe uh, coordinate really around those kinds of prices, maybe a little bit before and a little after. Uh, but uh, if it breaks through and you can see that there was some resistance just above 64, right uh, to the left of your chart here, or the left of uh, the current pricing, so we're getting close, and uh, if it breaks through and holds at 64, we might go to higher prices. But uh, that's the whole reason. See, it spiked up and it kind of came back down here on this bar. You know, just uh, you have some more resistance at this area, 
and we'll see if we can punch through. And there we go, punch through. So you can move it up a little bit, and you can see uh, once it's through 64, you had a little bit of a, a spike. Now next uh, is at 64.15. If uh, you know sellers give up the position and buyers take over, then we can get to that uh, that higher level. You know, so we've already got uh, you know, this strong bar here, and got 10 ticks locked in on the other two contracts, and let it go. Okay, I moved it up to uh, $64, these last two contracts, and uh, we're getting close to 15 It's above the daily high now, and uh, see if it punches up. Breaks through. Okay, contract number two's off. Took a while to work its way through. Just kind of bumped this up a little bit. You can see it's kind of rejection. Just see, see right at this number, right here. And I'll write it, uh, and you can see these long tails. I mean, price is reluctantly moving its way up. Will it get to 30? Um, I don't know. I mean, we're already, we've got 30 ticks ahead now. And here's the previous high from the day. So this is this is new territory. So the only way likely we're going to get to uh, this 6430 is that we have uh, new participants in the market. That's really my thinking in that. I mean, we've already had established participants at these previous highs. So, uh, you know, we have like safety stops above this area likely. That's why it kind of pushed its way through and it has some hesitation. So uh, it's either existing, you know, individuals are going to give up their positions or we're going to have new participants to drive prices higher. That's really kind of the way I reason it. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, we had this breakout here. And as you can see, it pushed way beyond 30 and above that. So there you go. I've cleared out. That's my, uh, my trade for today. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.